Hey folks, David Fine here from Keys Mods. We have our little collection here of insects that we're breeding. And we, you know, Ricky and I just went down to, my buddy Ricky and I went down to the Florida Keys to celebrate Moth Week, which was super cool. And while we were there, we found some caterpillars, which we decided that we would take home. We would, we would raise them through, document the life cycles and publish our findings. And so we got some cool ones. We have some, some chrysalis that we have here that we found. We have a, a mystery caterpillar right here that feeding on tamarind, which is really cool. I'm super excited about that because I don't know what it is. Here we have some tussock moths. And, but today's video guys is about a sphinx moth caterpillar that feeds on toxic plants. Yes, that's right. Um, poison wood guys where we have a moth that feeds on poison wood and I have some very itchy uh, welts on my on my skin oh, yeah. because I'm sitting here playing with poisonous plants trying to get these images for you so I hope you appreciate me suffering through <laughs> the poison wood burns on my skin uh, and, and guys I'm gonna show you this butterfly I'm, I'm gonna show you this moth caterpillar right now and I'm gonna try not to get any more welts on me. So guys, I'm gonna show you this right now. Uh, this is, guys, this is a container. This is not poison wood because I don't actually have poison wood here uh, in Broward County, or at least I don't know where to get it. It might be here somewhere, but this is actually Brazilian pepper, Shinus terebenthifolia. And it's, this plant is an exotic plant, which we all hate down here in South Florida. But one, one positive thing about the Brazilian pepper tree is that the Protambulux sphinx species, caterpillars will actually eat it as a larval host. So what I'm going to try and do, um, some people don't react to Brazilian pepper. I have been exposed so much over my life that I actually react to the sap of Brazilian pepper. So I'm gonna try my best to just reach in here. I'm gonna pick the plant up by this cup and I'm gonna hope that I don't get any further reactions from it. Now, it's been a couple days since we found this caterpillar and I'm gonna show him to you, he's right there. In fact, I'm going to turn my flash on on my cameras here so you can see them better. There, that's better. All right, guys, this is Protambulux strigillus, or some people call it Protambulux carteri. You pick. I, I'm going to call it strigillus. I'm choosing to call it strigillus. Um, it's a, it's a bug where the taxonomy of this larva or this species, it has been in debate. Some people call them Carter's Sphinx or Protambulix Carteri from the Bahamas. Other people call it Protambulix Stragillus. And I have, every time I do a video on the species, I get people that write me saying, well, you called it Carteri, it should be Stragillus. And then I say, well, I, you know. Uh, whatever, and then somebody else, when I call it Stragillus, somebody else will say, it's not Stragillus, it's Carteri. Anyway, you guys need to get a grip. Whichever one it is, it's Protambulux down here in the Florida Keys, and they feed on poison wood. And what I got here, this is actually the stem of the poison wood. And that's the, that's the last of what I have of the poison wood. The rest of this plant is actually Brazilian pepper. And as you can see, the caterpillar has begun feeding on the Brazilian pepper. It switched very nicely. Sometimes you gotta worry about that. When you find a caterpillar in the wild and it's been known to eat different types of plants, a lot of times when a caterpillar will start on one type of plant, they can be a little reluctant to switch in the middle of their life cycle. But it looks like this guy switched just fine. Uh, guys, this is a really cool caterpillar. Just like any normal sphinx moth, they have that wicked little horn that sticks off the back of the abdomen. 
and it's got like this pretty cool little white, let me see if I can zoom in here, this little white stripe that, that leads back towards where the horn is. They've got the blue sphericals that go down the body and they've got this little pointed head capsule, which is, which is pretty cool. Now this is a cool caterpillar guys, I gotta say. And it's the first time that I've ever raised it. Well, I take it back. I've raised Carter Eye once before. And the one time I did, flies came out of the caterpillar. It was parasitized. So I wasn't able to get a reared specimen out of it. But this guy looks pretty healthy. I think he's in fourth instar. He's probably got one more to go. So, you know, he's. I'm, I'll show you what he looks like in the final instar in another video. But I'm just kind of glad that he's choosing to eat the Brazilian pepper. And, you know, it, it, he's not eating a whole lot of it. We just found him yesterday. But the fact that he's chewing here on this leaf of the Brazilian pepper actually makes me very happy. Now, I'm going to show you on my arm where I've got burns from the poison wood, guys. Um, poison wood is actually in the same general family as poison sumac, poison ivy, and Brazilian pepper is also in that family. Now, a lot of people don't react to Brazilian pepper, but I do. And unfortunately, these welts right here, I just touched the plant for the first time yesterday. These welts, I've got some on my forearm a little bit here too, will probably be here another almost a week and if you guys have ever had poison ivy it's a lot like hitting poison ivy um, the best thing to do if you ever know that you've been exposed to the sap or even the the leaves of one of these plants is you know there's special soap that's made that you can wash the sap off and it gets the sticky sap off and it's the sap that your skin reacts to so hopefully that's all there is and hopefully I can get through raising this guy without getting any more reactions from the Brazilian pepper shinus terebinthifolia. Uh, hopefully I don't get reactions from that plant. But guys, that's about all for this video. I just wanted to show you guys the caterpillar for the Carter Sphinx, Strigillus, the Streak Sphinx, whichever one you want to call it, um, how cool he is. Um, when they when we, we found them at night, guys, actually one of the best ways to find these is by getting a UV flashlight. I'm going to show you a clip. Um, my buddy Ricky bought one online, a really high power UV flashlight. And when you shine a, a UV light, this black light on a green caterpillar, you should see how they light up at night. And when they're, when, you know, you're looking on a plant, a big tree like a poisonwood tree or a Brazilian pepper tree. If you look in the daytime, you can see this guy's pretty camouflaged. He doesn't stick out very, very easily. But boy, you look at night with a UV light, the leaves don't glow, but the caterpillar pops. Check this video out of us finding this caterpillar. All right, Loret, Ricky, what do we got here, bud? Look what we got, brother. Oh, sookie, sookie. Look beauty. at the beauty. Protambulux larva, guys, on poison wood. Now, the question is, how does one harvest a... Because if you go snapping that stem, he's going to give a sap and cause us very extreme discomfort i have a I, I do have a um i do have a rag which we can use he's like second third star oh uh, he's he's probably beginning a final oh yeah oh yeah yeah, yeah. he's ready to go man yes Do yes me, yes give me the, the phone all right guys hope you liked the video don't forget to give me a thumbs up hope my poison wood burns just go away and don't give me too much more grief. Uh, I'm going to try not to itch, itch them <laughs> and cause them to uh, be irritated. But give me a thumbs up, guys, if you learned something. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Uh, we've got plenty more 
moth and butterfly caterpillar action where this comes from. We're very grateful for the audience that watches our videos and helps support the Keys Mods efforts. If you want more information on the butterflies and moths of the Florida Keys, check out my website, it's keysmoths.com. We've got 600 moth species photographed and listed there for you, plus over 100 butterfly species and all their life cycles as well, or not all of them, a lot of them life cycles. We're working on getting more images up. Uh, but guys, check out our website. Don't forget, either we're on Instagram and Facebook. Follow us there. Until next time, guys, let's get out there and enjoy South Florida. And let's find us some crazy, cool caterpillars from tropical moths like this. Protambulus strigillus. All right, guys, take care now. Have a good one.